Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are yet again. Another surprise update has just gone live in Warzone with a handful of different bug fixes, then also even more weapon tuning, some pretty extreme weapon tuning, especially regarding the Vanguard weapons. So we got a lot to go over in this one. If you enjoy the video at any point as we go through it all, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed, this is the best place to be for everything going on in Call of Duty. Between news, updates, class setups, tips, it is all right here each and every single day. And just about 58% of viewers watching the videos aren't already subscribed. So if that's you, feel free to hit that sub button, click that bell icon. But without further ado, let's get into the brand new patch notes, the uh, weapon tuning V2, if you will. So for the December 10th update, first up, we've got a reduced volume of aerial gameplay elements like fighter planes, bombing runs, and aerial kill streaks. So those won't be as loud or obnoxious anymore. Definitely some good changes with that. Uh, fighter planes are no longer able to auto target parachuting players. So definitely uh, good news. If you're dropping in a little bit slower, you're not gonna get hit by a plane as easy anymore. Uh, for bug fixes, Fix an issue where Vanguard operator levels would begin at zero instead of one. Fix an issue causing players to be kicked for inactivity while using the static anti-aircraft gun. I know that happened to Lazy the other night when we were playing some games. Uh, then also, uh, fix an issue causing players to be bought back by teammates to return without access to their weapons or fists. We've also had issues where players that get bought back have their weapon like from their primary loadout from their last life. Not sure if that's intended or not, but that is a, uh, a fix that was updated as well. Now, for weapons general, the M1928, also known as SMG Alpha, has been changed to the M1912. Then weapon adjustments. With this update, we have drastically reduced the amount of bloom on all base Vanguard weapons, which is a huge update in and of itself. We will be In the future, we will be removing bloom from Vanguard weapons entirely. So that's going to be a huge W for all Vanguard weapons and really makes the playing field a whole lot better. This process will take time as we'll need to determine adequate downsides to counterbalance the removal of bloom, which will vary based on each individual weapon and type of attachment they are attributed to. In addition, uh, we are in the process of assessing weapon ADS speeds across war zones. Stay tuned for more info there. But then we get into, as you can see here, a very lengthy list of weapon tuning patch notes yet again. So unfortunately, some changes made here that we weren't, you know, like sort of predicting uh, with our loadout video from earlier today. But so first up, NZ41 neck multiplier was decreased a little bit. So it'll take an extra shot to the neck there. They also increased the recoil, unfortunately. Not going to lie, really liking the NZ so far. So we're going to have to see how much that has changed uh, for the Swiss. The second damage range was added, so that's now going to have an additional drop-off. The minimum damage was decreased to 80, down from 95. The neck multiplier was decreased, and the upper torso multiplier was decreased. So they're really trying to tank the Swiss, it seems like. The car from MW might still be all right. The Swiss, though, is definitely getting hit hard. Now, on the M1912 or the Thompson, the damage multiplier was already decreased from point or down 0.2, and the maximum damage range was decreased to 460 units, down from 600. So the M1928 definitely going to see some, uh, some significant changes because of that. The Owen gun, maximum damage was increased up to 39, so up 5 there. The maximum damage range was decreased a little bit. The medium damage range was decreased. The headshot multiplier was increased. Neck multiplier was decreased, as was the upper torso. Lower multiplier was increased, though. Then both the arm multipliers were decreased as well. So this is going to have some interesting damage properties. I'm not sure how much that will affect the TTK because we saw increases and decreases. But overall, the Owen gun, I still feel like, is probably going to be one of the better SMGs just because it does hit a little bit harder. Now, this is the big one, the PPSH. Because this is probably the best or was probably the best Vanguard weapon in the entire game. Right here, the maximum damage decreased to 23, down from 27. So that's a, a drastic change. Uh, mid damage decreased by two. The minimum damage was decreased by one. Maximum damage range was decreased. Uh, mid damage range was also decreased. The neck multiplier was decreased. So were the torso multipliers and so were the extremity multipliers. So all around the PPSH is gonna take some extra shots to kill now for sure. It already took a decent amount, but it had a fast fire rate and really good control and range, hence why it was so good. This might really, uh, you know, leave room for maybe the Owen gun to, you know, jump up a little bit. Maybe the MP40 to jump up a little bit. We're going to have to wait and see. Maybe even things like the Mac 10 or like the Modern Warfare MP7. Uh, for the Sten, the neck damage multiplier was decreased by two. The upper torso multiplier was decreased, as was the lower torso. That, I don't feel like, is helping out the Sten very much because that already didn't feel like it was a great SMG. So that's a bit of an interesting change. Uh, the Type 100, the max damage was increased. And uh, all actually, all the damage was increased here. And the neck multiplier was decreased a little bit. So the Type 100 could be looking uh, pretty decent from this, honestly. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, obviously, test some more. But that could be looking like a pretty solid SMG as well. 
Now attachments, they also made several different changes here. For the Thompson, the uh, chariot barrel horizontal and vertical recoil was decreased by 2%. On the MG42, the uh, the B42 MG horizontal uh, control was decreased by 3%. And on the 680 millimeter barrel, the horizontal recoil control was also decreased by 6% there. On the Sten, for the rapid barrel, the fire rate multiplier was decreased by 23%. So that barrel is not going to be nearly as effective for increasing the fire rate anymore. For the foregrips on the MG42, the Carver vertical control was decreased by 2%. For magazines on the Owen gun, the 9mm 25 round mag, that capacity was now increased a little bit. Uh, on the PPSH, on the Garanko 30 round mags, the capacity was increased a little bit. The move speed was increased and the ADS speed was also increased. On the Sten, the 20 round fast mag had its uh, capacity increased. And on a Type 100, the 30 Russian short had an increase in capacity. Same deal with the uh, 8 millimeter Kurs and same deal with the Nambo or Nambu. Then uh, the UI text may not reflect that in game, but it still is going to be changing. So a handful of new changes here. Definitely some pretty drastic changes to what we talked about earlier today in our top 10 loadouts video. Unfortunately, this comes out right after I post that video. Still, though, we don't see changes to some of those top tier uh, Cold War weapons that I still think are going to dominate the long range meta. Now, that said, the change to Bloom here is probably the biggest part of this entire update. That's going to be huge once it uh, takes effect because... The way I see it right now, things like the XM4, the C58, the Pharah, those are going to dominate long range fights as rifles uh, until that takes place. Just because you have it now, the Automaton, the NZ, especially with the slight nerf to it, the STG, they're good for medium range, but then you get to the long range and that bloom really kicks in because you have, uh, you know, worse control as is over range. And then you factor in the bloom and they're just not competitive enough to be that good in those longer range fights. So uh, I still think those weapons will sort of shine. The PPSH could be a little bit worse, but might still be one of the better options just because the magazine size and the potential damage per mag. Type 100 is looking good. MP40 is definitely looking good right now, as is the Owen gun. And then obviously we have the other stuff that was not changed that we talked about in uh, today's earlier video as well. So if you haven't caught that one, by all means, feel free to go and check that out. But that is effectively everything that ended up changing in today's new weapon tuning update. And that's going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, feel free to hit that sub button, click that bell icon. That way you can always guarantee you'll stay up to date with everything going on in COD. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.